Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Mad DIY. Today I'm going to show you how to load Covenant. Now you may have followed on the previous video and of course some are leaving comments saying it's not working. But the way this works is it's always going to be a rotation. There's always going to be a different method. It'll probably happen every month or so, maybe every week. I don't know, but I'll give you the latest and greatest on how to get that loaded. I'm going to show you how to get it loaded on your Kodi, also on your RetroPie if you have Kodi on your RetroPie. Same concept, same steps. It's going to be quick, simple, to the point. Make sure you guys subscribe. That way when it does change, you can get the latest and greatest on there. Also, I got pretty cool things coming your way for my amazing 3D print and also some really other cool things coming your way. So make sure you guys subscribe and let's get started. Okay, guys, first thing you want to do is go on your RetroPie. This walkthrough is for folks that are using a RetroPie and also if you're just simply using like an Amazon Fire Stick or anything like that, you just want to simply just turn that on. But I'm going to walk the folks in through the first two steps in getting to the Kodi app. So on the RetroPie, you want to just scroll over to port from the porch, you wanna go ahead and select Cody and go ahead and load out to the screen. Everyone else that's just simply using like a fire stick or any type of box, your screen is gonna look just like this. So you guys are gonna start right here. Okay, unlike the other video, this one's gonna be easier. It's gonna be less steps involved and you should be up and running in seconds there. So the first thing you wanna do is click the little wrench there at the top. And next you wanna scroll over to system settings and press enter. Next, scroll down to add-ons, make sure that's highlighted. And next you wanna scroll down to unknown sources there on the right hand side. We wanna activate that. So you're just simply gonna press enter on your keyboard or if you're using a remote, press okay. After you press okay, you're gonna get a warning. It's gonna pop up. It's gonna say add-ons will be given access to that blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. Select yes and press OK. Now you will notice that unknown sources is now activated. After that's activated, go ahead and hit the back button and scroll down to file manager. Select the file manager and scroll down to add source and hit OK. Next, you want to go ahead and click on none. And now you're going to be prompt for a URL to enter. Now you want to enter the following URL exactly as it's shown on the screen there. I'll go ahead and put a little pop up here as well, but don't worry about that. You can just copy and paste the link in the description. I'll have a link to this that you're supposed to put in right here in a description Just simply copy and paste it, pop it in there. It has to be exactly like that. After you're done entering a URL, go ahead and hit OK. Next, just simply scroll to the bottom and hit OK. Now you will see that it's loaded there on the left hand side. That's a good sign. So now we want to go ahead and back all the way back to the main screen. Once at the main screen, go ahead and scroll down to add ons and hit OK. Click the box there at the top left and hit OK. Scroll down to install from zip file and press OK. Go ahead and scroll down to the file that we just loaded. In this case, I left the name the same repository.xvbmc. Once again, repository.xray victor bravo mike charlie. You want to scroll down to that and press OK. Next, you want to click on the repository.zip file that's going to be in there. Just click on that and press OK. Right after you do that, just wait a couple seconds. You're going to notice a pop-up in the top right-hand corner of your screen that's going to say add-on install. So wait until you see that before we move to the next step. Right after you get that pop-up, go ahead and select install from repository. Press OK. Now scroll down to the XVBMC add-on repository and press OK. Next, scroll down to program add-ons and press OK. At the very top of the screen, you should see XVBMC update tools and maintenance. You want to go ahead and press OK on that guy. Next, go ahead to the bottom right and click on install. After you do that, wait a couple seconds. You're going to get two pop-ups in the right-hand screen. It's going to be the uh, URL resolver add-on install. Right after that, you're going to get the XVBMC update tools add-on install. So wait for that and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, after those pop up there and everything is done, go ahead and back all the way back to the main screen. Your screen should look exactly like this. Go all the way back to the beginning and then scroll down to add-ons and press OK. After that, you're just gonna go back up to the top left there and click the box and press OK. Select install from repository again and press OK. Select the XVBMC add-on repository again and press OK. Scroll down to video add-ons and press OK. Now from here, you can select various add-ons like your covenant, your sports devil, whatever you want to see. Go ahead and scroll down to Covenant and press OK. Next, go ahead and scroll down to that install button there on the bottom right hand side and press OK. We're almost there. OK, here you're going to see several different things popping up in the right hand corner. You just want to be patient. Just let the pop ups go through, scroll through, let the installation load onto your uh, Cody there. Just be patient, wait it out. The percentage may seem like it stays low, like at three, four percent, but it's going to increase really fast and finalize. This whole process here should take only about maybe 20 seconds. So wait until everything is complete. After that, you'll see Covenant 1.1.30. 
Okay, hard part's over. Just simply back all the way back to the main screen, go all the way back, and now under add-ons, you're gonna see Covenant. So just simply click on Covenant, and let's get to where we need to be. When you first click on it, you're gonna see a process complete pop-up in the right-hand corner. That's just verifying that everything is loaded. Now we can just go ahead and scroll down to, let's say for instance, uh, new movies. And there we have it, series of all the new movies that were released 2017, not too long ago. Some are still out in theaters. You guys are all set there. There you have it. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. Like I said, if there is some other changes, I will be up to date on the latest and greatest. So make sure you subscribe so you can always get that. Uh, make sure you slap a like on the video as well if it worked for you. If you got any questions, leave a comment. I'll try to get to it as soon as I can. Thank you guys for tuning in to Mad DIY. It's your boy Dave signing out. Peace.